coming up. How do you feel about the whole world knowing and witnessing the only athletes on the planet who have ever turned their back on their country's national anthem and flag are black athletes in America? Black people have the distinction of starting it and continuing it, their traitorous attitudes mm. toward their own country. Let's get a response. Go ahead, Tim. Wow. Well, first of all, sir, I think that you just bring, you bring up a very good point. And I think this is what makes America very special. I think America is the, one of the greatest, if not the greatest country in, in the world because of what you just described. Our free speech gives us that right. And I think that's an amazing thing. This is what soldiers fought for, for free speech, for freedom. And freedom, part of freedom, is sometimes you're not going to like how people they exercise that freedom. Part of the, re part of the way but people tell, exercise their freedom, you tell may not what agree you're with missing it. is that blacks are destroying. Free, sir. They are destroying and not building up. They don't have the freedom to destroy good in this country. Why not encourage them to do right, to set good examples as they did prior to the civil rights movement. I've often said that black Americans are suffering not because of racism, that there is no such thing as racism, no such thing as sexism, Islamophobiaism, homophobiaism, no isms. It's either right or wrong, good or evil. I have with me Tim Black, and Tim is a... a um, a, a live radio, video, and podcast host dealing with news, politics, and entertainment. And I wanted to talk to Tim about some of these things. Uh, Tim, good morning. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. Hey, good morning, Jesse. Thanks for having me, my friend. Yes, sir. So, Tim, are you a liberal, conservative, or where do you stand when it comes to uh, politics? You know, I'm just me. You know, I would like to say that uh, uh, I have different views on different issues that uh, would put me in different camps. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more of an independent. I'm not a Democrat or a uh, Republican. So have you, have you I'm ever, an independent. That's how I'm registered. Have you ever voted for a Republican? Uh, no, I haven't. Have you voted for a Democrat? I voted for Obama in 2008. And, uh, did you vote for him twice or just once? Just one time. Uh, why not the second time around? I didn't think he was getting done the job I needed him to get done. Yeah, I understand. President Trump called out uh, the um, NFL player Marshawn, Marshawn Lynch of the Oakland Raiders, who stood for the Mexican anthem but sat for the American national anthem. And the president said, very disrespectful. Next time he should be suspended for the remainder of the season. Do you agree with that? No, I don't agree with it at all. And why not? I don't, think that, I don't think that Trump should be deciding what an employer does with an employee that's not under his watch, that's not under his, his leadership. Uh, Trump, Trump should, if he wants to suspend people within the White House, that's fine. But uh, why should he have a, a say in what another company does? Well, that, that, that makes sense to me. Well, we pay for the stadiums with our tax dollars, and the president pays taxes, so he has a <laughs> right to comment on it. Just as Barack Obama, the fallen messiah, whom I did, didn't agree with anything about, on uh, supported the far-left liberal radical agitating group Black Lives Matter, who worked in the KKK. So you have to agree that the president, as a taxpayer, payer, has a right to comment on it. Isn't that true? To comment on it? Yeah. Uh, I think it's a waste of time, frankly. But he does I think have it's a waste a, of time. But he does have a right to comment. Uh, I, I don't, well, what you have a right to do and what you should do, what makes sense to do, are two different things, don't you think? Um, uh, do, does he have a right to comment as a taxpayer? He has the right to comment as a human being, <laughs> and, but does it mean it's the right thing to do? I don't think it is. But he does have a right as a taxpayer to comment, right? Um, he has a right as a person who has a voice. Freedom of speech is very important. You use it. I use it. He has a right to say whatever he'd like to say. Do I think it was prudent? No. Do I think it will make a difference? No. And I think he should spend his time 
commenting on issues that matter. Talk to us about North Korea. Talk to us about, uh, you know, those jobs that he's uh, supposedly returning to this country, the trade agreements he's supposed to be reversing, uh, the leverage he's supposed to be giving us with China. Talk to us about that stuff. I don't need you talking to me about what you think about a player on a football team, what he does. he has a right as a taxpayer. And matter of fact, because he's spoken up about it, he said throw those SOBs out when Colin Kaepernick and the rest of the thugs decided that they were going to turn the NFL players. You called them thugs? Did you call them thugs, Jesse? I did. Are you trying to trigger me? No, th- well, I've been calling them thug before I spoke to you. I think no, that but I'm saying you're I, saying it to me to trigger me or something. I Is that think, what we do? No, 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 I'm not. Okay. I'm just good, speaking good. the truth about the about the issue, in that it does matter that the president spoke up because it's a disgrace. I don't think I don't think I don't think, <laughs> I don't think Donald Trump ever called them thugs. So that's your interpretation of them, right? It's it's okay. a disgrace. It's a disgrace that. These uh, those NFL players, black players who um, uh, Mm -hmm. would not be even heard of had not been for football and the ability to play in this country and make buku money would turn their backs on the flag, on the country, on the men and women who. Uh, some of those players are, who some died of those players. in the military and sacrificed their lives so, so that they can play on the so fans and on their bosses. <laughs> and so, you, think some mili- you think some military people sacrificed their lives so people could play football? They did. Is that what you think, Jesse? You really think that? They have the freedom. They are protected so that they can play football. As a black man, no, so they can are pursue. you— I disagree, Jesse. And why? I disagree. Why? I don't think anyone in the military puts themselves in harm's way. Seems comrades, seem comrades lose their life um, for someone to pursue football. I think they do it so you can pursue freedom. But and that's a whole different right, thing. So, if, it, so they can do whatever you want to do uh, in your pursuit of that freedom. That's part of being American, Jesse. I thought you were an American. But if they didn't have the freedom, to, would they be able to play football safely? No, but if it part wasn't being, for the military, <laughs> part of being free, part of being free is to be able to make your own choices. And if your choice is, this is how you want to exercise your rights. Just like you said, Trump had a right to speak up and call Marshawn Lynch. Say Marshawn Lynch should be suspended. Yeah. Well, don't be a hypocrite, Jesse, and say that these people don't have a right to to stand or not stand or whatever. Well, they don't have a right to kneel. On a phony charge of a uh, on a phony charge a right. of police brutality, which doesn't uh, exist, that's and not going to trigger me, Jesse. They don't they have, have a right. right. They don't have, they a, have right a right to right. kneel at work. They can do it in the hood, but they not at right. work. They have an absolute right, Jesse. Um, Just th- like you said, Trump has a right. Does it bother you as a black American? That what bothers me is what? A th- black American? Don't frame it that way. That the NFL... I'm black, a person. I'm a human being. That the NFL, black man. I'm a black man, sir. That the NFL black players are destroying football. The uh, number of people who are watching the games are going down. The number destroying who are attending football. are going down. <laughs> and blacks have been so destructive in America mm. that their only purpose now is to destroy and not Bill. Are you embarrassed or bothered by that at all? I'm bothered by the way you just framed that question. And, and what do you mean? The way you just framed that question was deplorable, sir. In what way? It was racist. It was racist? <laughs> Jesse, you're a racist, sir. I'm sorry, Can, sir, you're a racist. Racism doesn't exist, but we'll get back to that. If Bernie Sanders should run again, uh, would you support him a second time around? You know what? That's debatable. I I would like to say yes, but we'd have to see because there's been some conversation. The Russia talk. I don't agree with the Russia talk, Jesse. And uh, Bernie has disappointed me uh, with chiming into that narrative that I don't accept as fact. I don't believe that Russia stole the election in 2016, Jesse. I just don't. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, during the uh, campaign, Bernie Sanders were, was um, covering for Black Lives Matter, as I said, one of the most radical, evil, agitative uh, group built by, founded by a bunch of black lesbians and homosexuals and social justice warriors. 
were you surprised at Bernie um, cowing to them and not really repudiating them? They're worse than the KKK. You said worse than the KKK? Wow. Yes. <laughs> and you said lesbians and gays as if that's a bad thing. Do you have a problem with... I don't have a problem with uh, people of different orientations. No, no, no. They are, they are black radical lesbians. And, different and because they're black, huh? No, radical. Yeah. Radical. Radical. Yeah. What do you mean radical? What does radical mean to you, Jess? Evil, agitated. They were chanting, what do we want? Dead cops, when do we want it? Now, pins in the blanket, firm like bacon. And instead of um, repudiating these people, as they would have done with the KKK or the skinheads, Bernie Sanders and others supported them by not denouncing them, Barack Obama and others. Um, what do you think about that, those chants about police officers? I think those chants are, are wrong. I think those chants are a uh, horrible chants. I can't defend those chants. Whoever, whoever led those chants, uh, Black Lives I definitely Matter don't did. Support that. Yeah, Black Lives no, Matter. No, but whoever, no, whoever those individuals are. Yeah, you black. Know, like I, I think, uh, I think there can be different people within organizations, and and whoever those those people who did that specific chant, those people need to be called out. Those people should be uh, cited, cited for that. So it was Black Lives Matter. I want to ask you about this. In Washington, D.C., they are complaining about the monuments and the statues. They are saying, take them down. Remove the statues. We are offended by it. It reminds us of slavery. The blacks are. You, you were, you're not happy with slavery, are you? And, you don't uh, think that was a great institution, do you? I think that slavery within itself wasn't good in that it forced people to was be a part good? of it. But, was it good? Right. But, That's the strongest word you can use, but, Jesse, is it wasn't good? But, it was the stripping of humanity, Jesse. But. It's the worst. It's, it's a, next to death, there's nothing. Next to genocide, there's nothing worse. And some <laughs> would argue that it's worse than genocide because at least with genocide, you're over with. Like, come on, Jesse. But that's, it was bad. It was that's the worst. You you use much stronger language to describe Democrats. But it allowed you and me and other blacks to be born in the mm. greatest country on this side of heaven. We didn't have to sneak across the borders. We that's didn't have to fill out horrible. an application. And so that's as horrible. a result of that. That's I'm loving my country. I'm loving what's right. I'm doing right uh, to show my appreciation for those blacks who suffered that I might be here. Uh, do you mm. agree with that? That sounds good, right? No, nah, that doesn't sound good, Jesse. If someone, raped, if someone raped your mom and you were the product of a rape, we're still not happy your mom got raped, Jesse. But my mother didn't get raped and no one in my but family got raped is, and no one in my family. <laughs> well, you don't know. Well, I, well, you're a slave, brother. Would you you're rather be born? Of slaves. Would you rather the slaves, brother? Would you rather you be born? My point. Thank you, Jesse. Would you rather? I knew that you would. Yeah, go ahead. Would you rather be born in Africa or America? It depends on which side of which side of the. Uh, you know, if I'm a rich African, am I an African well off? Because there are some rich Africans, Jesse. And which would you rather be born in America or Africa? Mommy Africa. If I have the most opportunity and able to raise a family. And where is that? I, I, I've only been American, so I'm happy to be who I am. <laughs> I'm happy to be an American. That's the only life I know. So the but point. If I had a choice, if I could be a well off and opulent, <laughs> Uh, very successful, born into a rich family in Africa, that'd be great too. Let me ask, um, I want to ask about the read I brought up, the statues in Washington, D.C. Because uh, you wanted to trigger me, Jesse. Right now in Washington, D.C., the city council wanted to put up a statue of the late former mayor of uh, Marion Barry, who, is, yeah. who was twice convicted, I believe twice, convicted of crack cocaine. He was a crackhead. Crack. <laughs> and he went in prison. He you went to prison. He went cocaine. He went to prison for uh he was caught smoking crack with another yeah. woman, not his wife, in the nineties. And yet the blast re elected him and as city council. 
why would black people want to walk down the road and see a crackhead statue representing them? Crackhead statue. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, uh, you know what? I think that uh, Marion Barry has a very interesting past. And a lot of people look at what he did for black businesses uh, within D.C. I, I think he he transformed black businesses. He 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 mandated that 30 percent of government contracts, local D.C. contracts be awarded to African-Americans. That was unheard of. And D. still is unheard of to the day. So, I so he, know. he helped a lot of he helped a lot of communities. So and you he also you don't yeah. have any problem with taking down the statues and the monuments and replacing them with a black. Convicted crackhead. No, I think all monuments. Unless I think all monuments <laughs> are a waste no. of time. <laughs> I think all monuments are a waste of time, Jesse. I mentioned Marion Barry. Uh, he was the mayor of Washington D.C. and he was arrested and went to prison. He was uh, caught smoking crack cocaine. He was a crackhead. And uh, he went to prison. <laughs> I think he was convicted twice for crack cocaine. And the second time he got out of prison, he was elected by black people to become the mayor. I mean, the uh, a city councilman of Washington, D.C. And my guest, Tim Black, mentioned that in the beginning, uh, Marion Barry brought jobs and good things in for black people. But he did it because he was a race hustler. He was intimidating white folks. But the crime got so bad in Washington, D.C., as it is today, uh, one of the highest murder rate cities in America. But the crime got so bad that many other black people left. Businesses left and went to Georgia, Texas, and other uh, areas in the country. And now they <laughs> want to build a statue, take down the Confederate statues, the flags and all that, and replace them with a crackhead. Can you imagine walking down the road there in Washington, D.C., your children are with you, and your son says, Daddy, who is that black man on the statue? And you say, that's a crackhead. That's Mary Bear. He was no. a he was a crack. Jesse, where's your compassion, head. my brother? He was where's a your compassion? The compassion is I'm embarrassed for black people that they have no shame. Not Drug all, addiction. not all, not all, but Drug most. Drug addiction is a sickness, my brother. I, 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 I'm, that doesn't mean they have to vote him in as mayor and city council. You, keep, you said crackhead several times as if a person with a sickness, a condition, you know, they, they should be they should be treated. That should that's something that needs to be treated. Now we know he's passed away. Why do you keep referring to him in such a derogatory way, bro? Because the man was a convicted crackhead, and now the blacks in D.C. are fighting to put up a stature of him. What is that to be proud about? How are you going to tell your children? Look, Marion Barry can succeed it as a crackhead. But well, hold on a second. We're, we're, we're talking about, you juxtaposed Bur Marion Barry, a man who held position that was elected by the people, uh, and next to Confederate soldiers who wanted to secede from the United States, who fought against this country. But you, yet, really wanna make the, you really want to have that argument, Jesse, but that yet, people good who man. fought against the country are more deserving of a statue than a man who was elected by the people in this country. Yet, I think the people by this country should. I think, I think Marion Burry is a better representation, frankly. A crackhead? At least those who, no. Like I said, I look at drug abuse as a who sickness, brother. Back I look then. at drug abuse as a sickness. Those men who were fighting back then, drug, drug abuse is not a said, sickness. You said drug user, Dr not, drug, not drug seller, Listen, not drug dealer. At drug least user. the Confederate men were decent men. A crackhead is not a decent man. man. And why would blacks want that? Right now, that makes me a drug user. Why would black too. want that as their example? But I want to get in a few calls here. Uh, let's go to the Bible Go To Guy out of Los Angeles, California. Bible Go To Guy, thanks for calling. You're on with Tim Black. Morning, Jesse. Thank you for taking my call. Good morning, Jim Black. Um, it's I have Tim. a question for you. How do you feel about the whole world knowing and witnessing 
the only athletes on the planet who have ever turned their back on their country's national anthem and flag are black athletes in America. No, and there's been plenty of countries, plenty of countries around the world with worse problems than ours. You don't see their athletes turning their back on, the na- on their own national anthem in their Olympics, okay. in international mm-hmm. events, and even in their own national events. You don't just don't see it. You haven't seen it in a hundred years. Black people have the distinction of starting it and continuing it. Their traitorous attitudes mm. toward their own country. Let's get a response. Go ahead, Tim. Wow. Well, first of all, sir, I think that you just bring, you bring up a very good point. And I think this is what makes America very special. I think America is the, one of the greatest, if not the greatest country in, in the world because of what you just described. Our free speech gives us that right. And I think that's an amazing thing. This is what soldiers fought for, for free speech, for freedom. And freedom, part of freedom, is sometimes you're not going to like how people they exercise don't. that freedom. Part of the, re- part of the way but Tim, people exercise their freedom. You Tim, may not what you're missing it. is that blacks are destroying. Free, they are destroying and not building up. They don't have the freedom to destroy good in this country. Why not encourage them to do right? to set good examples as they did prior to the civil rights movement. Why not why why not encourage police officers? Oh Jesus. why not encourage yeah, why not encourage police officers? Oh Jesus. Why not encourage our judicial system to do a better job of policing and of and of more equal incarceration. Why not do so a better you, job on that side? You are justifying first of all that's not true. But you justify one bad, uh, another, uh, a bad behavior to justify the blacks' bad behavior. That's a shame, man. You're justifying it the other way, Jesse, if you really think about it. <laughs>